Big Z Reviews. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves is the newest attempt at making a movie out of the Dungeons and Dragons uh, property or world. And this time, they kind of hit it out of the park. On your knees. Okay, chop it off. Chop it off. Let's do it. There are probably sharper stairs somewhere else. So this was uh, written and directed by uh, John Francis Daly and uh, Jonathan Goldstein. And I think that they figured out the key to making this movie is just to, to write a campaign with a bunch of fun ca characters in the party and just film it. You know, like, don't worry about doing, about having to do a bunch of world building because, like, um, Dungeons & Dragons is such a popular game, and it's, it's kind of in the zeitgeist of pop culture, that you'll let people figure it out. And I think that's what makes it work so well, is that they, they, just, they just made a fun campaign and put it on film. And, and it is great. So the setup for this film is that Chris Pine, he plays a Edgen, and he is like a, a bard... And he was like part of this like this um this like uh this bard group of like spies that like um he was a he was a good guy but then he his wife was killed and he kind of went into the world of thievery with this group of of fellow adventurers like with his young daughter uh, Chloe Coleman and there's um, Michelle Rodriguez as Holda. Uh, um, Justice Smith as Simon and um, Hugh Grant as Forge and then there's this other this witch that they that, that, that kind of gets them that like wants to join the party and uh, c commission them to steal this artifact that she wants and uh, of course things go badly and that's kind of like it, it kind of like before the beginning of the movie but at the beginning of the movie Chris Pine and Michelle Rodriguez are in jail and essentially, they're at a pardon hearing, like trying to explain like why they should par let them go, and you get all the backstory like pretty really quick. They kind of hammer you with like with the backstory, and like and I, it it works well with this funny, but like in this world, like even right from the beginning, like these like these characters that they have, like there's like I I love how how they they like actually use big puppets for some of these characters. Like these otherworldly characters, like like the like a bird creature, like Jonathan, or like he is he's really cool, and like uh, they have a lot of the characters like that throughout throughout the movie. There's a lot of like puppeteering, and it looks so good, like way better than any CG could be. And there is some CG, especially with some characters, and some of it, some of it looks pretty good. Other stuff they have like for hobbits. Or like halflings, I think is that what the Dungeon Dragons word for them? Like tiny humans, like it looks, it looks a little odd, but you know it's whatever. It's they're not on that much, but like it, it's this world they created. It they they did really good to put it on screen, and like essentially they break out of jail even though they were about to be pardoned because of his story, but um they kind of go to uh, find his daughter. And they find out that Hugh Grant as Forge is now like the mayor of this big city, and that he's in he charged he's kind of like maybe he he he's a he's a con man, and maybe he's doing a lot of conning, and he's not a good guy. He's even more so now, and he's working with that witch is kind of like gave you know arranged things for him to be in charge and to do some bad things. He has to go regather the party, you know, Justice Smith. And they join with uh, Sophia Lillis as Doric, which is like, um, which is like a druid, and then and they also meet up with uh, Regé Jean Page as a paladin Zenk. and Chris Pine. He's a bard. Michelle Rodriguez. She is like a warrior or like a barbarian, essentially. Justice Smith is their sorcerer in the team, and like it, it's just a lot of fun adventuring. You know, they have to get some items to try to to complete their quest. 
And it's a little bit of like, a, it has a little bit of a heist movie stuff to it. And I love, you know, the heist, heist shit is always fun. And it's just, it's just a hell of a lot of fun. And I, I love seeing like a, another fantasy project on the big screen. Even if it's not like based on any of my favorite books. Like it, it, you can feel like um, the Dungeons and Dragons world in this. Like, you know, I growing up too, I was a huge fan of Drizzt. Like for R.A. Salvatore, the whole saga with them. I think I kind of at some point I stopped reading them because I, I was like, eh, I moved on to other things. But like, I, I don't know, like we wouldn't, it's not as funny as like this. This has a lot of humor in it. But I would love to see, I mean, I don't know if they would want to do a Drift movie or if they would just do more with Chris Pine and these characters, which are really fun. But like, I'm, I'm, I'm here for either. Like, I, I, I would love to see more of this kind of movies on the big screen because it's a lot of fun. You know, it did okay, but didn't do amazing for the budget. So I hope they still do stuff with it. But yeah, I guess we'll have to see. But I mean, it's like, like the whole, like the, like the, the, they have to do like the world building for like the evil, who the evil people are, the the red witches, the red sorcerers, and their whole evil plan of world domination, you know, the info dumps. But like other than that, like you're really just there for the adventure and having fun, you know, the campaign. And it's really well done. I would highly recommend it. I'd probably give like an 8.75 out of 10. But uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks. Thank you.